AOS Shalom El Prisia Bashem Yashab Bashem Gakadash Double on the Sea Apostle Oh that's a great milestone And uh, Shalom to the brothers that they're doing the work in sincerity and the truth uh, It's a brother I'm a one Just got a quick follow up To a previous video I did about Like Amazon and like where the market's going Got this article on Savannah now It says global debt soars along with fears of crisis ahead and it said, well, uh, 10 years after the worst financial panic since the 1930s, growing debt burdens in key developing economies are fueling fears of a new crisis that could spread far beyond the disruption sweeping Turkey. The loss of investor confidence in the Turkish lira, which has surrendered more than 40% of its value this year, is only a preview of debt problems that could engulf countries such as Brazil, South Africa, Russia and Indonesia, some economists say. Turkey is not the last one, said Sebnam, Kalemi, Kalem, Kalem, Kalemli Ozkan, an economist professor at the University of Maryland. Turkey is the beginning. For now, few experts think the broader crisis is imminent, though Argentina this week asked the IMF to, um, to accelerate a planned $50 billion rescue as a peso crashed to a historic low. But the dangers of financial contagion could hit Americans by crushing US exports and send the sending the stock markets plunging uh, should be taken more seriously in light of massive increase in global debt since the 2008 downturn. So you know this is yet another angle from which it's possible you know from the, the the elites can basically manipulate this shit into a into a global crisis, man. Because the thing is the same thing. It's like with with like 2008, man used that housing bubble and then just boom crashed it. And then that was the end of that. That was the end of that. And then from then, like, everyone everyone was getting fucked all over. Imagine Greece. That motherfucker's on the other side of the planet Earth. Them guys got nuked. Just, like, financially. Just because um, of the American housing crisis crash. So it's like, you know, when you got combined... Like, like, and they've got, you know, the Illuminati card game. They've got the card combined disasters, man. And, you know, that's, that's, that's uh, how they can make it go down. Basically, you have multiple different angles multiple different ways in which you know the markets crash and you know that'd be that you know that's some ju that's some juicy goodness right there man because for real that's that's uh, how easily they can make you know can basically can make it um make it into a, a full-scale uh, crisis man everyone getting messed up all over the world which you know like i said before leads into the chip it says, uh, let me skip. It says, uh, okay. While previous uh, debt crises invo involved US households and later prof prof profligate European governments such as Greece, this time the um, concern centers on companies in emerging markets that borrowed heavily in dollars and euros. In Turkey, for example, companies and banks borrowed in recent years to finance bridges, hospitals, power plants and even mammoth port developments for cruise ships, says so foreign investors, uh, particularly European banks, lent freely in search of higher returns these markets offered at the time when the US Federal Reserve and European Central Bank were keeping low interest rates. We're supposed to correct, we were supposed to correct a debt bubble, said um, David Rosenberg. He says, what we did was create more debt. So, you know, you can see this, this basically, uh, you know, these guys, you know, there was, there was a huge crisis before. They're like, okay, yeah, everything's meant to get, you know, now we're going to do it properly. We're not going to let that happen again. Lo and behold, they just made the same thing happen again. That's how, you know, it's all, it's all by the plan of the elites, man. They basically have certain things. They, they control the markets. You know, they control where the money goes. And when they so desire it, they can bring the crush. And there's myriad tools they can use, man. It's not like they have to go and send Bane to, a, you know, to the market to go beat some motherfuckers up. And then hack, and then have you know, and jet hack into the market. There's you know, they've they've basically got all kinds of different angles where it will see you know it will seem justified, and then they can start pushing that chip and mass man, that RFID, that mark of the beast. But yeah, you know, just an interesting little follow up, man. But yeah, I'll leave it there, man. Shalom. Yeah, but